Hi, I'm Darren from Morton Real Estate and this is your update for the Sydney's property market in October. Auction clearance rates as of the last weekend in October were at 63% for Greater Sydney. Looking at these results by region, the city and eastern suburbs have still held strong around 75%, with west and southwest dropping to around 48%, again dragging Sydney's overall result down. The previous concerns of an overheating housing market in Sydney are clearly a thing of the past with price growth visibly slowing in some areas. One of the main factors causing the slowdown is buyer confidence, and I don't blame them. With so much coverage about the slowdown in auction clearance rates and commentary predicting that this is the beginning of the end of the boom, it would be hard not to get spooked. Yes, interest rates have risen, but really, that isn't a huge surprise. We all knew they had to rise, it was just a question of when. With the Reserve Bank's recent decision to leave official rates on hold at 2%, it is clear the line at the bottom of the interest rate cycle has been drawn. This means buyers and vendors both simply need to adjust to what's been happening and get on with it. Even with all the talk, rates are still at a fantastically low level and buyers and sellers are not going to disappear completely. Now some of the great properties to look out for this month include 911 20 Pelican Street, Surrey Hills, 1501 253 Oxford Street, Bondi Junction, which is a fantastic off-plan opportunity, and my personal favourite this month and a must-see, 644 Bridge Street, Sydney. To view more about these properties, simply jump onto morton.com.au. If you're looking to buy or sell in Sydney or in need of property advice, please don't hesitate to contact me anytime as I'd love to assist further. Thanks again for watching. I'm Darren Ratcliffe and I look forward to seeing you next month.